Hey there. Um, so this time around, I'm going to um, take a look at a red uh, Kolsch-style ale um, that I brewed at home. And this is the um, this is the first look I've had at it. It looks very yeasty in this bottle. Um, so this is very unfiltered. Um, uh, I I bottled it straight out of the fermentation vessel. Um, wow, it's beautifully red, though. A little carbonated. It doesn't seem super bubbly. We'll see how that works out. Um, and uh, I'm going to walk over here because this is where my information is. Um, so um, it was bottled on March 5th. Um, and, um, it, uh, is 7.73, um, percent alcohol by volume. Wow. Okay. So we're going to take a look and see how, how this turns out. So, uh, aroma. Hmm. Malty. Sweet even. Mild. Um, uh, mild. Which is what we would expect in a Kolsch. Very, very mild, um, yeasty even, um, and um, bready. All of that is present. So color-wise, it's definitely a dark red, um, dark uh, like a brown even. Um, and um, because it was done with uh, darker grains, we would expect that normally a Kolsch would be a nice blonde color. But today it's not. So flavor. Wow. I was worried when I was pouring it that it wasn't very carbonated, but it's um, it's not super carbonated, um, but it's very good. It has like a little bitey carbonation going on to it. Um, very mellow, um, even flavor to it. Um, mildly sweet, um, very uh, malty. Um, I almost I feel like actually I need to look and see what, what the cool style um, should have in it. And um, we're throwing a lot out the window because it was done as a red, uh, red, a red cool style ale, but we'll look anyway. Okay. Because um, a Kolsch is like a European lager, and so actually, as a matter of fact, I I had I hadn't realized that I needed to needed to um, ferment it at such a low temperature. It needed to be uh, below sixty five. And my house is usually averages like sixty eight to seventy two, somewhere in there, sixty eight to seventy. And um, so it was very challenging. I actually had to put it by my sliding glass door and keep, keep I kept it open at night and open most of the day. Um, try to keep the temperature down. Luckily it was chilly or outside during that time. Um, but, um, so we're expecting a very low, um, malt aroma, grainy, sweet character, pleasant, subtle fruit, um, like, um, apple, cherry, pear, uh, as a side, uh, as a product of fermentation. Um, um, it should be very pale to light gold, but we know that the color's going to be different here. Uh, and it should have a delicate white head that does not persist. And I tried really hard not to pour off the yeast that was in this bottle. And I think this bottle was actually, um, I had too many bottles. And so some of them I had stacked on top, um, upside down, like on top of the bottles, like, you know, like that. Um, and so that's why there's so much yeast in the, in the top of this one. So I tried not to pour it off, as you can see, um, you know, this whole, the whole top of this bottle is covered in yeast. Uh, you can't really see from that reflection. Um, uh, but, um, yeah, so there it is. Um, so that's, um, so I tried really hard not to pour off too much yeast out of this. Um, and, uh, as a matter of fact, the bottom actually, there is some sediment in it, but not super bad. Um, so the flavor, um, should be soft, rounded palate, um, delicate flavor, um, soft but attenuated malt, um, little sweetness, um, medium to low bitterness, delicate dryness, and a slight crispness in the finish. So really, like, all of those things are really spot on, like that crispness even is, and comes through in the carbonation. Um, I think carbonation-wise, it says it should be medium to medium-high carbonation. 
Um, and in that respect, I think it falls flat. Um, but uh, so it's not super carbonated, but it's 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 carbonated enough. Um, so the body should be medium light, um, medium light to medium. And this is a little bit heavier. Uh, and I think that I used. Um, it's been a while at this point. Um, I think it was expecting a lower alcohol. Um, content and so I think um, when I made this I used extra um, uh, malt extract uh, because they didn't have a five pound bag or something and so it came out at a higher gravity and then a little bit more um, um, a little bit more body out of that um, as a result I think but um, it's it's very drinkable Yeah, I mean it's for as dark as it is, the flavor is so light and um, sweet, uh, almost fruity, um, very um, like yeasty, um, almost florally. It's it's really quite delightful. It almost reminds me of like an herbal tea. Um, it has a little bit of a a dryness at the end, um, and then that little bit of a bite um, from this um, light carbonation. So it didn't carbonate um, um, very well, which was unfortunate. I dropped a bottle, and actually the top had come off, and it was spitting out. And I thought, oh great, it's carbonated really well. But but this is the first bottle that I've opened. So um, anyway, uh, great beer, um, very enjoyable, and um, like I said, seven point seven three percent alcohol by volume. So um, you know, definitely. Uh, drinkable and um, so there you go um, my red Kolsch style uh, ale um, brewed in March I think oh it went into the fermenter in January okay January 24th it took two days to start because it wasn't it was too warm in the back of my house so I had to move it out by the door but anyway um, so uh, cool there you go red style Kolsch um, and this was a kit that I found at um, Beer, beer, and more beer. They have some really great things. Uh, and uh, next up, actually, that is in the fermenter behind me here on the counter, looking huge, um, is um, that Muhammad Ali is um, is, uh, is featured on is my um, milk stout, and I'm super excited about that. I think that's going to be really yummy. Um, anyway, so thank you so much for watching. Have a good night.